Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to take a look at um, GeForce Now, how to get it up and running on our Xbox Series S. Um, so basically it'll just make use of the Edge browser that comes installed with your Xbox console. You can obviously plug in a Bluetooth dongle and make use of a keyboard and mouse. It'll make navigating much easier. Just go to the GeForce Now website. It'll ask you to log in. Obviously, depending on your region, so I'm in the South African region, we've got Rain as the licensed um, GeForce NVIDIA um, partner in our region. So I'm just logging in there. And then, obviously just allow all those pop-ups and then just go back to the geforce now website play.geforcenow.com then you'll be greeted with a t's and c's once you um, have signed in just agree and continue and then just click the get in button and then you'll have access to your um, GeForce Now library. So obviously on your phone, this obviously makes authenticating a lot easier. You'll just open up geforcenow.com slash login on your phone. Or you could do it from a laptop, whichever is easier for you. And then you'll just input those um, digits as it's displayed on your screen. just to allow authentication into your GeForce Now um, cloud streaming profile. So just two-factor authentication, I, I guess. Better to be safe than sorry. So this setup is ideal for um, playing PC games and you don't really have access to a PC. Obviously games like Counter-Strike 2, exclusive to Steam, so yeah, you could play it um, on your Xbox console. So these are just the authentication pop-ups um, that you'll just be putting into your phone. And once you're logged in, you'll see over on the Xbox console, it's now taking you through to the splash screen with your library and the basically the GeForce Now experience in website form. So this isn't going to be a full gameplay video, but I thought, okay, let's bring up a good example. Let's just search for Counter-Strike 2. And then after a minute or two, it'll notify you your gaming ring is ready. So obviously I'm on the priority tier of GeForce now. So I've got a RTX 3060 um, rig. Inside this weird double cursor, I'm not sure, it's probably because I plugged in the keyboard and mouse. But I'm sure if you're just using the controller you won't have, um, you won't be seeing double cursors like I'm seeing on screen. Okay, let's jump into a match. Just 
just to test the experience and also just to show you the frames per second just um, to see what kind of an experience it is on the Xbox series consoles obviously now it's just finding a match so this is perfect for if you're trying to play a PC game and obviously you don't have access to a PC just use GeForce now on your Xbox series console or if you've obviously filled up your hard drive on your Xbox series console you don't want to buy um, another storage um, device another hard drive um, you can just subscribe to GeForce now and play it um, via the cloud Okay, so as is the case on PC, the hotkey to get the GeForce Now statistics is just Ctrl and G on your keyboard. Then it brings up the statistics overlay, and you can see your frames per second, and how stable a network connection you have. So obviously I just um, tried this out for the first time, so I think it defaulted to 720p as the resolution. But obviously you can adjust that, um, I think, I'm not sure if it's 1200p or 1600p is the maximum for priority to on GeForce Now. Yeah, you can see the frames per second in game 120 frames per second and the stream of the cloud um, frames per second is just hovering around 60 frames per second yeah so quite a good um, seamless experience geforce now on xbox series s just making use of the edge browser that it comes installed with your console yeah do hit that like and subscribe button guys Appreciate the support the channel's been getting. Till next time, cheers.